I am a huge fan of books in a series because when I fall in love with a character, I don't want that character's story to end. I want to keep following it and see how they deal with the next challenge and the next challenge and the next. And so today I want to talk to you about a series and this particular series is called The Inheritance Cycle. And the first book is called Aragon by Christopher Paolini. Now Christopher Paolini published this book either when he was still in high school or just out. He was very, very young. He actually ended up becoming a New York Times bestseller by the time he was 19. And uh, this book caught the attention of the stepson of an author who was the one that kind of pushed to get it published by Knopf. And I hope I pronounced that correctly, but K-N-O-P-A. Uh, but this book is, the back cover talks about how we have a young, a young boy named Aragon who essentially finds this like polished blue stone in the woods and thinks that he can use this stone to buy food for his family because they're poor. But it turns out that that stone is actually the egg of a young dragon. And he is meant to bond with this dragon. He actually has a, um, a calling, sort of. So this book is fantasy, and I would say that you will definitely, if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, you will definitely see some Lord of the Rings influence on this. Christopher Paolini is a big Lord of the Rings fan. But what this series brings to it that a lot of other fantasy series don't is a lot of dragons. And, um, and dragons are something that are cool, but a lot of times in books there's like, there's one and they're destroying the world like, you know, Smaug in The, in the Hobbit. Uh, this brings dragons into uh, a more complex kind of understanding of dragons and has all kinds of wonderful magic. And uh, there was a movie adaptation that was decent, uh, great cast but uh, it didn't really quite get the treatment it deserved. I hope that you'll get a chance and pick up Aragon and read The Inheritance Cycle, and I think that you'll love it. And I will say also that very recently, after years and years and years of waiting since the last book was published, right? So the last book in The Inheritance Cycle was published, it looks like, in September of 2008. And then 10 years later, in December of 2018, uh, short story series came out. Um, and so there is this sort of additional connection to the series that you can pick up that's more recent. So I hope that you'll read this. I hope that you'll love it. Go pick it up.